So there's two things that we do in order to open an airway. We do the head tilt chin lift and then we do the jaw thrust or modified jaw thrust. The head tilt chin lift is traditionally used for patients that are have medical complaints, whereas the jaw thrust is more for patients that have trauma that we need to open the airway for. Why is that? Well, when it comes to the head tilt chin lift, you can see that we manipulate a lot of the neck, which in a trauma patient, especially patients have suspected spinal injuries, that's not going to be something that we going to want to do. And so instead of doing the head tilt chin lift, which is like so, in order to open the airway and displace the tongue forward, that's something that we do with medical patients. Now with trauma patients, we're gonna be using the jaw thrust. And what the jaw thrust is, is that we're gonna simply come back here behind, with our two fingers, and we're gonna pull the jaw forward like so. Okay, and pull the jaw forward. And that's again, gonna displace the tongue forward, but without any neck manipulation. Personally, I do find that when you are using a mask on a patient and you're ventilating a patient, I do find that it's easier to secure the mask like so, and you do a jaw thrust like so in for ventilation, whereas trying to do a head tilt chin lift and also kind of holding the mask like so, I find it a little awkward for myself. So that's something to look at too, because you can use the jaw thrust for medical patients. It's traditionally just used for your, your, your trauma patients simply because of the manipulation of the neck. But those are the two airway opening techniques that we use in order to, again, keep these patients airways open and displace the tongue forward so we can get good ventilation. All you need to do is hit the link in the bio and we're gonna send all of our daily videos straight to your email so you can get your daily dose of medicine.